Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in the vice, I've got a full and mill. Uh, it's a competition heavyweight, bronze size 10. As you can see, I've already put some uh, gold chain uh, eyes on it. Uh, I tend to do these in quite big, uh, quite big batches, as, as you can see. So they're all kind of tied in, super glued, and ready to go. Uh, the thread I'm going to be using is just a black. Uh, sheer thread in 14 -0. so I'll just run down a quick layer of thread just about up to the up to the barb uh, for the tail I'm going to be using some marabou this is, uh, this is Dave Downey's uh, Stuff, it's really good stuff. This is the Damsel Wall of Sunburst. So you just want to take off probably a thumbnail's width. Should uh, should do it. I, I don't like them too too big. I just cut it off from the from the stock and just fold it over. Trim the stalk away. Just need to pick out the, out the fluff. Saves the fly getting too too bulky. Just catching that in, nice loose turns. And then work your way up. I tend to leave the, the tail quite long and just trim it at the end. Back down, that's us. Now, slightly different this uh, this fly. We're going to have a we're going to have a tinsel rib, but we're also going to have a wire. So I've just got some standard silver, just some silver wire. This is the it's the Uni French. It's a small. Catch that in at the side. A couple of turns. And then I'm going to use my, my tinsel. Again, this is just a one of my micro tinsels. It's a silver holographic. Catch that in. And then you want to wax your three eggs. We're going to for the body we're going to have some, some dubbing, uh, this is a dubbing I've blended myself, uh, it's not one of the ones I sell because I don't have very much of it, it was a bit of a, when I initially done it it was a bit of a, a trial and uh, it's been very very good for me so I'm not going to tell you exactly what's in it but you can probably guess. Just a wee touch more. It is. And first you want to bring through your tinsel. Opposite way as you round your, your thread. Initially I just used the I used to just use the tinsel and nothing else. But uh, you find once you've had a few fish that was the what I was finding that was the, the first thing to go so 
I uh, started putting this this wire ribbon. And it's really just there to protect the tinsel, nothing nothing really else. So that goes the opposite way. That goes the same way as you, you wound your thread. And uh, oh, it seems to do the trick. It seems to protect the protect the tinsel. You could just leave it like that. I fist them just, just like that. It uh, catchy, catchy fish. But uh, just for this video, I'm going to add in a, I'm add in a hackle. This is just a, it's a claret hen hackle from uh, Cookshill. You can use, you can use pretty much any colour. It's more about the, it's more about the movement. So let's catch this in. These are quite, I found them quite soft uh, hen hackles. You need to be quite careful with them when you're tying them in because uh, they, 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 they don't like you to be too heavy with them. So uh, I'll just get my hackle pliers. Doesn't it take much, maybe. I'll maybe get two turns. Let's fold it back. See what I was meaning about the camera? <laughs> Catch it in. See, it's all about the it's all about the movement. That's why you need the hen hackle. Uh, you, you could tie it by a cock hackle, but you, you'll not get anywhere near as much much movement. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I tie different variations of this. I'll, I'll sometimes I'll put a wee bit of dubbing at the, at the head, uh, a wee bit of silver, a wee bit of gold, maybe something like that. Uh, I'll do that just to show you. I wasn't going to bother, but I'll, I'll do that just to show you. Uh, I'll use some of this flash bright from uh, from Blue Flash. Uh, I think probably the we'll, we'll probably go with the gold. And that'll that'll look quite nice. It's not, you need this 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 the tiniest amount. This is this is actually probably too much. You better wax. Let's draw these fibers back and just give it a figure of eight across and across and that's pretty much it. Quick whip finish. You can you can just whip finish straight over the top of the, the dubbing because what we'll do is we'll just brush it out. That's it. Call me a thread. And that's you. As I say, you can trim the you can trim the tail to whatever you like. I'm going to leave that just now because. Uh, a lot of the ones I've got in my box are quite short. Uh, I'll just show you here. I don't like them too too long. But, uh, that's some of the ones I've been tying up recently. Hopefully you can see them. 
and that's too close. Just, uh, just different variations, different colour combinations. And uh, ah, it's, just, it's just a case of trying, trying different things and see how they work. Everything, everything has its day. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, join me next time. Cheers.